What's up everybody, Nox is back here for yet another movie review for you guys today, and this movie review is for the movie Dead Again in Tombstone. This one stars Danny Trejo, and it's a western. If you guys know how I feel about westerns, I'm not too fond of westerns. Now, let's get into it. This is the sequel to Dead in Tombstone. With uh, Danny Trejo and Mickey Rourke. I think it's from 2013, 2012, 2013, something like that. But he's back as Guerrero. And this gang has... Uh, a stolen relic and he's okay I'm messing this thing up there's a stolen relic and Guerrero has to protect it from getting into the hands of the gang because if it does then it could be hell on earth that's how I'm going to say it was it a good movie? Eh. Eh. I'm not a real big fan of westerns anyways, but I remember that the last one was an action horror film. It was more of an action horror film. And that's what this one felt like. But it's registered as a western. To me, this is not a western. It's pretty much the same exact thing. Sort of. Sort of. Danny Trejo, I've just seen him in so much. He's just getting up there in age, and I wish he would just retire from acting. He's kind of like Steven Seagal. He doesn't go away. He doesn't go away. He makes dozens of movies a year. But the only difference between... Danny Trejo and uh, Steven Seagal is Steven Seagal only releases maybe five, six movies a year. Danny Trejo, he's in a shitload of stuff. And I know why he's doing it. He wants to be relevant. I get that. He wants to be a relevant actor. But most of his movies go straight to DVD. Just like Steven Seagal. But Steven Seagal has a very well-established career with movies that everybody could name. If I tell people to name me uh, a movie that Danny Trejo was in, besides the Machete films and the Spy Kids films, none of them could do it. None of them could do it, and that's not surprising to me, because he's in a bunch of stuff in just small little roles, but as of lately, he's become the main star of shitty action movies and westerns that I do not care about, but I keep on giving him chance after chance after chance after chance after chance, and I'm tired of giving him chances. I can't do it no more. Unless he comes out with a movie that I'm like, oh, I really want to see this movie, then I'm not going to watch another Danny Trejo movie. But I am going to say that we didn't need another one of these. We didn't need another one. They could have just left the first movie, Dead in Tombstone, alone, and it would have been fine. But now we have Dead Again in Tombstone, and it's a pointless movie that didn't need to be made with an overexposed actor. An overexposed actor that I'm just getting tired of seeing. However, the film is not atrocious. It's just really boring. 
the action scenes don't have any intensity to them. You don't care about what's going on. You all of a sudden find out about certain things. You're like, who gives a shit? Just shoot people. And when they do shoot people... I saw more graphic shooting in a 1960s western. Westerns have become so watered down. Unless it's like a... Quentin Tarantino or something like that. But with Danny Trejo, it's gonna be maybe a little bit graphic. But not as graphic as you expect it to be with him in Machete and Machete Kills. I'm gonna give Dead Again and Tombstone a D. Stay tuned for my next movie review. I don't know what my next movie movie review will be, but I'm going to hold off on watching uh, Most Likely to Die until October so I can get some horror movies in for October because you guys yelled at me last year for it. So I will see you guys for my next movie review. I know it's not going to be for Baby Driver. That will come later on. Later, later on tonight. Here in a few hours. But as always... Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, I am so sorry about you clicked on stupid thing. But if you did, please like the video, leave a little comment down below, subscribe for more, and I will see you guys next time.